What's up you guys? Welcome to another episode of Kane Remo. Today we are heading to one of the local rivers here in the state of Washington. Let's go. starting to walk down to the river. I'm not sure if we're actually gonna catch anything today. Pretty excited about this river. We've actually seen this on a couple of uh, other YouTubers. They've uh, caught some fish out here, so we'll see. Currently doing a quick, nice walk through the woods. Ready to go fish? Yeah. <laughs> so looking good so far. Uh, we just saw a guy walk out with about, I think two or three cohos. I think uh, the limit here. Was it three? One, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I think the limit here is two or three. It's kind of weird. It's definitely not the same as Alaska where it's pretty straightforward. I think if you catch uh, two cohos first or if you catch two pinks first, then you can't catch any more fish. We're not going to be keeping any pinks today. We're going to be uh, catching, uh, trying to keep some cohos first and then We'll see at that point if we need to uh, stop fishing. So one of the things about uh, fishing here in Washington is that a lot of people are very protective of their fishing spots. So uh, we're definitely not going to be talking about uh, fishing locations in this vlog, uh, especially when we're fishing out here in Washington. So just got to the fishing spot. There's definitely quite a bit of people today. It's uh, currently uh, Columbus Day here in uh, the US for those folks that are watching from overseas trying to sneak in. <laughs> All right, so here's the spot. Looking pretty good. Uh, hopefully we can catch uh, some fish today. We'll see how it goes. Oh. Any luck so far? Chinook. Oh, nice. Seen any? <laughs> I used to be here. Uh, yeah. Currently we're using a uh, Corky right here, we're using a uh, chartreuse, my favorite color. And I think Kay is using, uh, I think a pink version of this. And we're, yeah, we're just out here drifting Corkies. We've seen a couple of jumpers already. The water here is so clear, so nice. It's actually not that cold too, well at least compared to Alaska. Alright, so Kay just got a fish. Let's see what kind of fish that is. It might be a pink, it's not really fighting that much. Came off? Yeah. All right, so I just got a fish on, it's a pink. And I think it's snagged too. <laughs> Yeah, we're not gonna be keeping any pinks today. So, oh wait, no, he actually ate it. He ate it. Wait, no, it snagged. Getting close. Release this guy. Try to make sure that he's actually going up the river. Nice. Just got a fish on. What is this? Yeah, it's a chum. <laughs> mm. 
and let this guy go. Ah, uh, I hook him in the in a fin. All right, there you go, buddy. Get back in. Feels like a pink. Some kind of dark, dark fish. It's a pink. It's a pink. It's a pink. Nope. It's a pink. Oh yeah, it is. Oh wait, no, it's a, it's a pink. Yeah. Awesome. There you go. Another pink. There's so many of them. And this guy actually ate it. Check that out. Man, look at this. So he's got a big hump on his back. <laughs> Oh, nice! I love the silver! <laughs> That's nice. Look at that. It's okay, just had a fish on. Check that out. High five. <laughs> That's My awesome. Where's silver? Where'd you catch him? Huh? Where'd you catch him? No, it's a secret place. <laughs> We got a fish on too. Ooh. It's another silver. It's a pink. Nope, it's silver. Silver. Yeah. Bop, 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 bop. Got another fish on. <laughs> Check this out. Ready? So another silver right here. That's a nice coho right there. That's definitely like a, a fall coho. It looks kind of fall-ish. There's a little bit of brown to it. I'll be kind of interested how the uh, the meat looks like, but man, I've got the GoPro on, but Kay's catching today. <laughs> Absolutely. Here. It's the next day here in Washington. Time to clean the fish. <laughs> If you guys have seen some of our videos before, uh, we used to catch them up in Alaska and they're very silver up there uh, since we do catch them from salt water. But here, uh, fresh water here in Washington and they're kind of reddish already. So I don't know what the meat's gonna look like, but we're gonna go ahead and find out. The reason why I cleaned the skin properly because we love to eat the skin. If you notice these two fish over here, one is darker and one is more silver. And this one is actually male and this one is a female. Let's check the meat of the male first. Check this out. Now, the female one. And so the silvers here actually have a more pronounced dots. A little bit more clear. Whereas the, uh, the silvers up in Alaska, there's really not a whole lot of dots. They're purely mostly uh, silver all around. But uh, once again, it's kind of understandable because these Silvers have already gone up the river, so they're a little bit darker now, and they've got a little bit of a pinkish uh, tint to them as they go up the, uh, the river.
All right, so these are the uh, fork blades that uh, came from Case Catch yesterday. They're actually looking kind of reddish, a little more red than the uh, silver salmon that we've caught up in Alaska. I think the silver salmon fillets that we've caught up in Alaska are a little more uh, orange. And uh, this, this one actually kind of reminds me of the uh, sockeye salmon that we've caught in the um, Russian River. Yep, from the Russian River up in Alaska as well. Now that we are done um, cleaning the fish, it's time to cook teriyaki salmon. While cooking, I'm gonna vacuum seal them real quick. The oil is hot already. I'm gonna put the fish. This salmon is looking pretty good on a pan. Just got done frying the fish, and now time to make the teriyaki sauce. For my ingredients, I'm gonna use garlic. It's Korean sweet cooking seasoning. I'm gonna use cooking wine, soy sauce, and I'm gonna use sugar in it. Two tablespoons of soy sauce, two tablespoons of mirin, and two tablespoons of cooking wine. I'm gonna use one scoop quarter cup These are optional ingredients If you want to put sesame oil and seeds, you can have Mix them well Cheers. Pretty excited about this. First uh, silver salmon uh, from that uh, local river that we caught this from. Well, actually, that Kate caught this from because I didn't catch anything. Pretty excited to try it. So let's go. It's actually pretty good. I wouldn't say that it's different from the uh, silver salmon up in Alaska, but uh, it's, it's a little bit different. This is good. There's a good. All right, folks, so that is the end of our video for today. We'll see you guys in the next one.